We had all these ideas, but we're like, how do we make it possible? And now we're here today. For Bailey Watt and Danielle Gallo, the idea they are referring to was to coordinate a fundraiser to raise awareness on eating disorders. The two friends who have both experienced the condition are responsible for launching the first ever Niagara Eating Disorder Awareness Walk that was held recently at Oaks Park in Niagara Falls. We yeah. really just split it up and we told each other what roles we were going to do and yeah. we did it. And our families and friends were really helpful, like everyone was willing to help in, in any way so that was good to have them, like it wasn't just us two, we, had, we have a great support system that was out there getting donations, getting prizes, all that, so that's really helpful for us as well. The media attention surrounding the walk has forced the two to talk openly about their struggles with eating disorders and in turn allowed many others to open up as well. As we've opened up we've gotten a lot of responses from people and it's actually been really like rewarding to see how many people are now saying yeah I went through it and that we didn't even know like I've had people message me and say yeah I went through it as well and I'm really glad that you guys are doing this I don't think I could do it but I'm glad that you guys are doing it like thank you from all of us so I think just this has brought out all these people that we didn't even know were going through it but now can see that it's okay to struggle and it's okay to be open about it. Both Danielle and Bailey credit therapy for giving them the coping mechanisms they needed to control the disorder. I'm happy now uh, my family's happy everyone's just proud of me and that's kind of what keeps me motivated to keep to living a healthier lifestyle now. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I don't, there's days that I don't struggle. I think there'll be days through my entire life and I think you probably would say yeah. the same thing. But yeah, I, I do want a future when I'm older and doing the habits that I used to do, you won't have anywhere of where I want to be. And I want to sit here and help like I am today, help others do what we did four years ago and get the help that they need before they do, it's too late, yeah. before it's too late. Pledges for the walk are still being accepted online. Proceeds will benefit Path Stone Mental Health and the National Eating Disorder Information Center. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.